you think a running back is going to go in the first round of the 2020 draft? To me, there are three running backs that have first round ability. The first one is DeAndre Swift from Georgia. Okay, I think this is definitely a first round talent. J.K. Dobbins from Ohio State has done enough to display first round talent. And then in my horizontal rankings, where my pod kind of cuts off with first round picks is Jonathan Taylor out of Wisconsin. Those three names, Amy, to me, if somebody were just going to say, who do you think has the talent in the running back position to warrant a top 32 pick, those three would be my names. The number one being, I think, will go is DeAndre Swift. I wouldn't disagree with that at all. If there's going to be a back taken in the first round, it will be Georgia's DeAndre Swift. But Coach Mack is a thousand percent right. Those other two backs, Taylor from Wisconsin and J.K. Dobbins from Ohio State, certainly would have a first round grade in this. The Titans obviously have their star running back in Derrick Henry, who has signed his franchise tag. What type of back could the Titans be looking for to compliment him? Clyde Edwards Hilaire out of LSU. I think would be a wonderful complimentary back because any back that you get to Derrick Henry is going to be a complimentary back. I really like Cam Akers out of Florida State. I think this kid has untapped talent, untapped potential, played in a horrible program at Florida State. They were really bad around him, but you could see some of his physical traits and his ball carrying ability and also being able to catch the ball that come out. I like Zach Moss out of Utah, a little bit different, a little bit more of a pounding back in there that would still give you the threat of being able to catch it out of the backfield. Those are three names I think that you could look at. Coach Mack, you had mentioned Jonathan Taylor and that he was a guy that could be a potentially good fit for the Tennessee Titans. What is it about him that you like so much? And are there other players who have similar skill sets to him? He's got outstanding contact balance. He's always going forward when he runs. I thought he's got great vision. He's got patience at the line of scrimmage. He is very flexible body type. He can stick his foot in the ground. He can drop his hips. He can change course. He can change direction. Now, look, this guy's had a lot of carries. His weaknesses, I think his lateral quickness is great, but he's not an elite sudden back. He's had some fumbling issues there, which you can't have in the National Football League. He needs to improve his reliability on, on passing downs, but he's got instinctive run, run ability. And plus, I like his control movements. You want a back that has control movements. You don't want a back that is herky-jerky and is all over the place and can't make a decision and is not patient. He's got that. I think he will still be a premier back in the National Football League. Give me a little bit of a scouting report on DeAndre Swift. You can do anything with this guy that you want to do. Inside zone, outside zone. He's able to get in the open space and make people miss. He's a very durable back. This guy is a premier back in the league. Who are some of the guys that we could see come off the board in some of those mid-level, second, third, fourth, that could be great acquisitions at that spot? Patrick Taylor from Memphis. He's another guy that is pretty good size power back from Memphis. Eno Benjamin from Arizona State. Very, very interesting player. I like Eno Benjamin. LaMichael Perrine from Florida. I mean, this is a guy that, again, played in the Southeastern Conference. Uh, then A.J. Dillon from Boston College. Big, big, powerful back, all right? Not going to make very many people miss, but he's going to make a lot of defensive backs make business decisions down the field if they want to try to tackle him. There's a kid that's very interesting, okay? He's, he's a smaller type player, but this kid is from Illinois State. His name is James Robinson, okay? James Robinson is 5'9", 219 pounds. He ran a 4'6", 4 4 don't worry about the speed. He's an instinctive, instinctive runner. And then Keyshawn Vaughn from here at Vanderbilt. You know, Keyshawn Vaughn is a very, very good football player. He's got the requisite skills, especially in the inside and outside zone stuff. And Keyshawn Vaughn can hit the home run. You know, he's a 4-4-4 guy. Give me some names that we could hear in those last few rounds. Some guys that can still make an impact for an NFL team. Jamichael Hasty from Baylor is another one. A big power back that actually played with Coach Vrabel's son at Boston College in A.J. Dillon, who's a bigger dude like Derrick Henry is. D.J. Dallas from University of Miami. So are there any players that you have your eyes on that you're excited to see how their story ends up shaking out as this draft happens? I really like Clyde Edwards Hilaire as a football player. I really do. And he's got some things to me. He's a football player. And at the end of the day, what we are doing is drafting football players. 
we're not drafting height, weight, speed, you know, Olympic participants. I like the way he plays the game. I'm going to be real interested to see not only where he goes, but who he goes to and how they're going to incorporate and use him. And I would follow up with the guy that you liked, Coach Mack, and Cam Akers of Florida State. I think he has a lot of upside heading into the, the National Football League in terms of level of play. And I, I'm really excited to see where he goes, to see what he does at the NFL level.